The Big Bang theory stands as the prevailing explanation among the scientific community for the inception of the universe, encompassing the genesis of celestial bodies like stars, planets, and ultimately life itself. Despite its somewhat whimsical nomenclature, the Big Bang aptly encapsulates the cataclysmic event that birthed the universe, an explosive expansion from a state of unimaginable density smaller than a pinhead to the vast expanse we observe today. Over eons, this initial burst of energy and matter laid the groundwork for the cosmic tapestry we inhabit. However, recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope, an unparalleled instrument in the field of astrophysics, cast new light on our understanding of cosmic origins. In just a year since its deployment, the JWST has transmitted images of unprecedented clarity, peering back to the earliest epochs of the universe. These images, captured with remarkable precision, unveil galaxies whose antiquity challenges the very fabric of cosmological theory. One such revelation emerged from the diligent scrutiny of JWST data by astronomer Rohan Natu. Amidst the vast expanse of space and time, Natu unearthed a cosmic relic, Galaxy Z13, a behemoth dating back a mere 300 million years post-Big Bang. This discovery, a testament to the JWST's prowess, sent shockwaves through the scientific community, igniting a fervent quest for understanding. The JWST, stationed at a vantage point 1.5 million kilometers from Earth and shielded from terrestrial interference, was meticulously engineered to explore the universe's infancy. Aptly termed Cosmic Dawn, this epoch, shrouded in cosmic fog, represents a pivotal juncture in cosmic history, wherein primordial gases coalesced into the first stars and galaxies. Initial projections for the JWST's findings were modest, anticipating faint glimmers from the cosmos's nascent days. However, reality defied expectation. Instead of a sparse scattering of celestial objects, the JWST unveiled a cornucopia of galaxies, their luminosity and maturity defying conventional wisdom. The ramifications of these discoveries reverberate through the halls of academia, precipitating a seismic shift in our understanding of the cosmos. The JWST findings challenge entrenched paradigms, beckoning scientists to re-evaluate fundamental assumptions about the universe's evolution. As the scientific community grapples with these revelations, the pursuit of knowledge marches onward. Every image captured by the JWST offers a glimpse into the universe's tumultuous infancy, guiding humanity toward a deeper comprehension of our cosmic origins. The quest for understanding is ceaseless, fueled by the insatiable curiosity that drives humanity to explore the cosmos and unlock the mysteries of existence. The early revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have the potential to rewrite the opening chapters of cosmic history. These revelations not only shed light on distant epochs and faraway galaxies but also have profound implications for our understanding of our own existence within the Milky Way. Mark McCarran, a senior advisor for science and exploration at the European Space Agency and a JWST scientist, aptly encapsulates the ethos of scientific exploration, you build these machines not to confirm the paradigm but to break it. You just don't know how it will break. Indeed, the JWST's observations of early galaxies represent the culmination of decades of meticulous planning and technological innovation, tracing back to the inception of the concept at the Space Telescope Science Institute in 1985. The genesis of the JWST project can be traced to a pivotal moment when Garth Illingworth, then deputy director of STSCI, was tasked by his boss, Ricardo Giacconi, to contemplate the future beyond the Hubble Space Telescope. Despite initial reservations about diverting attention from Hubble's impending launch, Giacconi's foresight proved prescient. Thus began the conceptualization of what would eventually become the Next Generation Space Telescope, later renamed the JWST in honor of a former NASA administrator. While the Hubble Space Telescope was transformational in its own right, astronomers recognized its limitations, particularly in observing distant galaxies obscured by cosmic redshift. As light from these galaxies traverses the vast expanse of space, it undergoes a phenomenon known as redshift, causing its wavelengths to elongate into the infrared spectrum. Hubble's observations in visible light were inadequate for detecting these ancient cosmic relics. In contrast, the NGST, equipped with an infrared sensor and a sizable cold mirror, promised to revolutionize our understanding of the early universe. The need for such a telescope was underscored by the groundbreaking Hubble Deep Field Observation in December 1995. Initially perceived as a futile endeavor, the extended observation revealed a panorama teeming with galaxies stretching back billions of years into cosmic history. The resounding success of the Hubble Deep Field underscored the untapped potential of space-based telescopes in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. 
After more than two decades of meticulous planning and a significant investment of resources, the JWST finally embarked on its maiden voyage on Christmas Day 2021. Following a month-long journey to its deep space destination, the telescope underwent rigorous testing to ensure its optimal performance. By July 2022, the JWST commenced its eagerly awaited first year of science observations, known as Cycle 1. Two of the JWST's early initiatives, the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey and the Grism Lens Amplified Survey from Space, sought to uncover galaxies in the early universe. Despite modest expectations, astronomers were astounded by the immediate emergence of extremely distant galaxies, surpassing even Hubble's most groundbreaking discoveries. Hubble's previous record for the most distant known galaxy, GN, Z11, identified in 2015, boasted a redshift of 11, corresponding to a cosmic age of approximately 400 million years. The JWST's unprecedented capabilities have already surpassed these milestones, offering tantalizing glimpses into the cosmic dawn and challenging existing paradigms of galaxy formation. In summary, the JWST's early revelations represent a triumph of human ingenuity and scientific curiosity, offering a transformative perspective on the universe's origins. As astronomers continue to sift through the wealth of data captured by the JWST, they stand poised to rewrite the annals of cosmic history and redefine our place within the vast expanse of the cosmos. The early data from the GLASS project, led independently by teams including one led by NATU, revealed astonishing findings. GLASS Z13, discovered at a redshift of 13, pushed our understanding of cosmic history even further back in time. Using simplified redshift estimates based on brightness, researchers identified galaxies unexpectedly bright and large, some already comparable in mass to our Milky Way despite being billions of years younger. Following this groundbreaking discovery, more galaxy candidates emerged with even higher redshifts, challenging conventional models of cosmic evolution. Some exhibited disk-like structures contrary to expectations for such early stages of the universe. Additionally, evidence surfaced for galaxies the size of the Milky Way at redshifts as low as 10, defying predictions of the standard cosmological model Lambda Cold Dark Matter, LCDM. The LCDM model incorporates dark energy and dark matter to explain the emergence of large-scale cosmic structures. However, the rapid appearance of massive galaxies challenges this model's predictions. According to LCDM, such large structures shouldn't form so quickly after the Big Bang. To understand this discrepancy, it's essential to revisit the early stages of the universe. In the first seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Over time, as it expanded and cooled, the first atoms and eventually the first stars emerged. These early stars, fueled primarily by hydrogen and helium, coalesced into proto-galaxies, which later merged to form larger galaxies. JWST's observations of bright galaxies in the early universe challenged this model. Instead of witnessing numerous small proto-galaxies, we're seeing already sizable galaxies. While some suggest these may be closer galaxies obscured by dust, follow-up observations with instruments like ALMA suggest otherwise. The lack of dust observed with ALMA implies that these galaxies are indeed distant, lending credence to JWST's initial findings. This challenges our current understanding of cosmic evolution and raises the possibility of revising established cosmological models. One controversial theory that arises in light of these findings is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests that dark matter may not exist. Instead, fluctuations in gravity on a large scale could explain the phenomena attributed to dark matter. In conclusion, JWST's discoveries have upended our understanding of the early universe, forcing us to reconsider long-held beliefs about cosmic evolution. These findings present a challenge and an opportunity for astronomers to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos and potentially reshape our understanding of its fundamental workings. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations could potentially offer support for theories like MOND, which challenges the existence of dark matter. Advocates of MOND, such as Maor, note that many of its predictions have been validated by empirical evidence, though skepticism remains among some scientists. One proposed explanation for the unexpectedly high brightness of early galaxies is the possible absence of dust, which could make these galaxies appear brighter than anticipated. This factor could complicate efforts to accurately measure their masses, as dust plays a crucial role in obscuring light and affecting observations. Additionally, it's hypothesized that the conditions in the early universe might have been conducive to rapid star formation, leading to the emergence of large galaxies much earlier than predicted by current cosmological models. Another intriguing possibility is the potential influence of magnetic fields in the early cosmos. 
if magnetic fields arose earlier than previously thought, they could have played a significant role in shaping the formation of stars and galaxies in ways not fully understood. The influx of scientific papers following JWST's initial observations reflects the intense excitement and scrutiny surrounding these groundbreaking discoveries. While the rapid dissemination of findings enables quick discussion and analysis within the scientific community, there are concerns about the potential for rushed conclusions and calibration issues that may affect the accuracy of the data. Nevertheless, astronomers are eagerly racing to conduct follow-up observations to confirm and further explore the high redshift galaxies detected by JWST. Numerous proposals for additional JWST observing time have been submitted, indicating the community's keen interest in delving deeper into these unprecedented discoveries. The impact of JWST's observations extends beyond merely confirming existing theories, they have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the early universe and cosmic evolution. As astronomers continue to probe the depths of space with JWST, they may find themselves re-evaluating established paradigms and developing new theoretical frameworks to account for the wealth of data collected by this groundbreaking telescope.